Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Executive Vice President of the Automobile Division, American Honda, John Mendel. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, and thank you for joining us. You know, a year ago on this stage, we declared 2015 as the year of Honda. And honestly, it wasn't intended as a big brag, but really rather kind of an acknowledgement of what was to come. And that was an incredible cadence of new products that reflected the really big dreams we have for our customers. Now today, we culminated this extraordinary year with the North American Car of the Year Award for the 2016 Honda Civic Sedan. Thank you. Thank you. And candidly, we very humbly want to thank all of the journalists who selected the Civic for this honor and who nominated our Honda Pilot as a finalist for Truck of the Year as well. Tony Swan summed it up best this morning when he said that there are really no more bad cars or trucks anymore. And I want to acknowledge the comp competition we faced from the other finalists, from Chevy, Mazda, and the host of other great new products that we competed against. You know, 10 years ago, we accepted this award, this same award, for the 2006 Civic. Now, this all-new 2016 Civic was the most ambitious remake in the 43-year history of our top-selling vehicle globally. And I want to thank our R&D associates in Ohio, California, and Japan, and all of our manufacturing associates in Canada and Indiana who really worked as one Honda team to create this all-new Civic. Now, fortunately, it's not the end of the story for our 10th generation Civic, because we'll continue to roll out additional variations of the Cynic lineup this year and next. Now, of course, the year of Honda also brought to life in pinnacle products like Honda Jet, the Acura NSX, and Clarity Fuel Cell, and innovative new products that we delivered to our customers. That includes not only the award-winning Civic, but the HRV, our new gateway crossover model, a third generation pilot, which today is the fastest growing model in a very competitive segment, the 16 Accord, which we're proud to claim as a car and driver 10 best for an unprecedented 30th year. And of course, we were also happy to report last week that we posted a new all-time sales record for American Honda and for the Honda brand in 2015. And you know, we got to do it our way with innovative, class-defining products sold one customer at a time, one car at a time, and employing marketing strategies that continue to reinforce our customers' trust in Honda products that are consistently at the very top of the rankings for low cost of ownership and long-term value retention. In fact, for the third straight year, we've earned retail sales crowns in four key segments where we compete, and that's with Accord, Civic, CRV and Odyssey. And CRV racked up its 11th year and third consecutive year as America's outright best selling SUV. Now, with a record 2015 behind us, we look to carry the year of Honda momentum well into 2016 as well. And we're doing that with what Merrill Lynch has identified as the most ambitious new product cadence in the business including the continued rollout of our 10th generation Civic lineup and an even more powerful and fuel efficient Accord Hybrid. But what really brings us here today is another addition to our truck lineup, one that's going to benefit from the steady drumbeat that started with the launch of the Freshen CRV in 2014 and was followed by the launch of the HRV and Pilot last year. Today, we have the world debut of the newest addition to the Honda truck lineup. And to take us there, it's my pleasure and honor to welcome someone who knows a thing or two about Honda light truck products. He's a veteran of Honda R&D who helped lead the development of several iconic Honda models for North America, including Odyssey and CRV. Today, he leads Global Honda, bringing to the challenge a wealth of experience gained from his work in Japan, Europe, China, and right here in the US. So please welcome the president and CEO of Honda Motor Company, Mr. Takahiro Hachigo. Hachigo-san. Thanks. 
Thank you, John. And good afternoon, everyone. I want to begin by thanking the members of the media who selected Civic as the car of the year. <laughs> Civic was created by a global team with Honda's R&D and manufacturing teams in North America playing a key role. Thank you for recognizing their effort. Honda is a different kind of company. We make many types of products and technologies. Some give people mobility. Some make their lives easier by helping them get things done. Some give people joy and excitement. We see our purpose as making things that challenge, that changes people's lives in a positive way. This is the reason Honda exists. And my commitment and my passion is to rekindle this as the core value of Honda to our customers and society. This can mean big dreams and we reached a major milestone in the history of Honda, taking Honda Mobility to the skies with fast customer deliveries of the Honda Jet. This year, we will launch the new quality fuel cell first in Japan in just a few months and later this year in America. This new platform will underpin a new plug-in hybrid model coming to market by 2018. As we build momentum for this pinnacle environmental vehicle, but creating new value for people requires innovation on many levels. Years ago, the Honda Odyssey was this kind of project. We are not creating just a new vehicle. It was a foundation for a new business direction for Honda. And step by step, we have continued to advance our light truck business. This study growth, powered by Honda r and and manufacturing operations in this region has enabled us to meet the needs of our customers. And last year, Honda Associates in North America set a new record for both of production and sales. I'm very proud of their efforts, but the expansion of production across all 600 regions in the world present us with new challenges to manage. In the coming days, we will work to advance a complementary supply system to meet the needs of customers in each local market and supplement the needs of customers in other regions. This year, we will begin to supply customers here with the Civic 5-door from Europe. And we have added the HRV to the number of models we export from this region to Europe. We also must make more efficient use of our existing capacity in North America to create more capacity for light truck models. Last year, we announced a plan to dual source the Acura MDX in Ohio. Today, we are announcing plans to change production at our first plant in Mexico from CRV to HRV to meet demand for our new crossover. 
and we will add production of the CRV in Indiana. In this way, we will work to meet strong demand for our light truck products. This will enable us to continue to grow in North America. The largest and most important market for Honda globally. Today, we take the next step in this effort with the introduction of the second generation Ridge Line. I was working in the US when the first generation Ridge Line broke new ground. Unique features like the embed storage trunk and the two way tailgate were simple ideas to make people's lives easier. And this helped Ridge Line win the Truck of the Year Award 10 years ago. Now, the all new Ridge Line will propose new idea from Honda engineers in America for what a pickup truck can do for people. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce the all new 2017 Honda Ridge Line. All right, words like cool, tough, and ad athletic, words that used to be described, used to describe me, really define this freshing new look for the pickup segment. Now this Ridgeline also brings our unique technology and original thinking to the market in a new and challenging concept for a Honda pickup. But you know, at the same time, it's more traditional kind of three box truck profile really better communicates its true truck capabilities. Because, and let me be clear here, this is a real truck with payload and hauling capabilities that rival the top competitors in the midsize pickup segment. Now this Ridgeline isn't just about doing what other trucks can do, it's about creating new value and new capability for the customer. Now on the turntable is the silver RTL E model and it's flanked to the left by our new black edition that'll serve as a new top trim for the lineup. On the right is our Baja Ridgeline, fresh off its class winning performance in the 15, 2015 Baja 1000. Now, in developing this new Ridgeline, we looked across the full spectrum of today's truck and SUV buyers. And you know, for many customers, their truck isn't about the job site. It's about their active outdoor lifestyles. That means weekend sporting events and tailgates, runs to the desert or out to the country with your dirt bikes, and family and friend excursions to the mountains or the lake with toys in tow. And for these buyers, the capabilities of a pickup, mainly hauling and towing dirty and bulky cargo, well, they come with a whole bunch of fundamental compromises inherent to their body and frame designs. So what do we mean by that? Well, lack of interior flexibility for one, everyday drivability, maneuverability, and road manners, to name a few more. 
Now, for these buyers, we think we've got a better idea. A truck that uses its unibody construction and Honda packaging magic to deliver more of the things that they really want in a truck and none of the things that they really don't. So, let's dig into the details a bit more. Starting with our global light truck platform, both rigid and lightweight, with advanced collision protection and a sophisticated and fully independent suspension. The reality is that most truck buyers spend the vast majority of their time on the road, where body-on-frame construction is nothing but a punishment. Ridgeline comes to the rescue with a level of ride comfort, steering precision, maneuverability, and handling that far surpasses the competition. Under the hood, the Ridgeline is powered by the same great 3.5 liter iVTEC V6 that powers the new Pilot. And with this new powertrain, Ridgeline will deliver medium duty towing capability in combination with the best acceleration and the highest fuel economy in the midsize truck segment. And for the very first time, our expanded Ridgeline lineup is also going to include an option, the option of front wheel drive or all wheel drive. And all wheel drive models will employ our iVTM4 system with intelligent terrain management, featuring settings for snow, mud, and sand. Now, it's the only active torque vectoring system in the midsize pickup market. And inside, the innovation continues, where Ridgeline offers the largest cabin space in the midsize segment, with a much higher level of comfort and sophistication than anything in the market today. And with its split folding rear seat and class leading rear seat storage, under seat storage, Ridgeline can handle just about any combination of people and cargo that you can come up with. It's the most versatile packaging, packaging in the segment. Moreover, Ridgeline is going to offer the latest and greatest tech that we have to offer. Everything you see here, including Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capability. And with our next generation ACE body structure, and available Honda sensing suite of advanced safety and driver assistive technologies, Ridgeline will target the highest available NCAP and IIHS crash ratings. In back, in the bed, the Ridgeline gets bigger, bigger in every imaginable way. The longer, wider bed with the only five foot wide flat bed space in the segment is ideally suited for hauling plywood or drywall. While we're still analyzing and finalizing the payload capacity, we expect that it's going to rival the best in the segment, approaching 1,600 pounds. Now add to that eight 350-pound tie-downs and a new single-bed storage compartment with an available 400-watt AC power port to charge your power tools, your tailgate blender, or even a flat-screen TV, whatever you're into. And like the original, we've retained and improved on two of Ridgeline's most innovative and still truck exclusive features that Hachigo mentioned just a minute ago. And that's the dual action tailgate and the lockable in-bed trunk. But this time around, the in-bed trunk adds a fully flat floor and to make post uh, game cleanups even easier. And keeping with the tailgate theme, we've got another industry first feature as well. And that's the world's first in-bed audio system. Now, you can't see it, and there are no speakers to get bashed and scraped when you're hauling mulch or lumber, but you can definitely hear it, especially with its 540-watt audio system. It's good old-fashioned Honda engineering magic. Now, let me give you a quick sample here. I'm going to run it from my iPhone, see if we can get this up. And I have a microphone here that I'll lay in the bed. Next up for Ridgeline is a starring role in Honda's big commercial in Super Bowl 50. It's the Honda of trucks. Fully capable and confident, but altogether new and innovative. Now, thanks for your time and attention here this afternoon. I want to grab a couple of quick photos with Mr. Hachigo, and then I'd like to invite everyone up for a close look and listen to these new ridge lines. Thank you very much. Hachigo san.
We have Autoblog Steve Ewing here now from planes, racing, cars, motorcycles. What do you think about Honda's new announcement? I think it's interesting. It's a segment that Honda's getting back into. They sold the Ridgeline in the U.S. for a number of years in the mid-2000s, and every year sales just kind of declined more and more and more. The people that buy trucks want a truck most of the time, and this isn't necessarily that. But if Honda is going to bring it back, I think there's more flexibility in the market. There's a whole like new crop of cars coming out that sort of cross the borders between, you know, defined types, and this is one of those cars. So, do you feel that they've? I mean, they're obviously they're they're up there with their quality, with their Civic, things like that. A car that's repeatedly sold again and again and again. Do you think now that they're like, well, we're pretty comfortable there. Let's kind of dabble in this market a little bit. Yeah, I think it's like there might be enough people still asking for something like the Ridgeline because it's uh, the way I refer to it is it's a truck for people that don't actually need a truck. It looks like a truck. And I think that there are a lot of people that just appreciate the appearance, the body style, like it looks like a truck. Mm -hmm. But they don't necessarily need, you know, four wheel drive capability. They don't need to tow things. They don't need to haul things. They just want, you know, maybe something they can you know, take some mulch home in on the weekends every once in a great while, but they don't need a full F-150 or a Chevy Colorado or something like that. But they do need in-bed sound system. They certainly do, and thankfully, <laughs> Honda's got this one done. Uh, it's a complete industry first. Um, I don't really see a use for it other than, like, a cool function at tailgates. Um, but there is a stereo in the bed. There's also a really neat um, in-bed storage system. There's, like, a sort of compartment underneath the bed where, I mean, Let's be honest, people just use it as a cooler outside of football games. Uh, and the tailgate goes down, swings open. So there is some functionality there. And it's the kind of stuff that Honda's really been known for. Like, what can we do to make this a little bit different, maybe a little more unique that, you know, our buyers would like? I mean, it does sound like it might be a little bit of a party animal, perfect for tailgating, because he did talk about being able to plug in your tailgate blender. That's true. And if you have your blender or your pizza oven, <laughs> or your rotisserie, you know, chicken thing. Uh, any of that stuff, super helpful at tailgates. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I'm a huge truck fan, and yeah. I, everything I own is a truck. Uh, what are your thoughts on the unibody construction? It's different. So, you know, Honda says that a lot of truck buyers don't want a truck ride, and they don't want, you know, to have to compromise with, like, a bad ride feel on paved roads. And that's what this isn't going to have. It's a unibody construction. Um, it looks to be based on the same platform as the Pilot crossover. But that also means you can get it in front-wheel drive, which is a first for a pickup. Most pickups are either four-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive only. So you, you sort of get better steering dynamics. You get a little bit of a smoother road feel. Just kind of, it's more like driving a big car than it is like driving a truck. Yeah, I mean, especially with the independent front and rear suspension. Exactly, totally. Yes. So it's definitely different, but I mean, Honda's got a big presence here at the show. The Civic just won car of the year, which is pretty hot. Super big. Yeah, I'm actually driving one right now. I love it. Do you really love yeah, it? I mean, it's their 10th generation right now, and they're very proud of that. I think it looks awesome. I have a loaded touring one. It looks really good. It's very nice inside. It's big. It's comfortable. It's refined. But it's still everything that a Civic needs to be. It's compact. It's fuel efficient. And, I mean, it is it is the car of the year for sure. So it's well-deserved. Indeed. I agree. Very, very good. 